Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie Glowacki. I'm the author of Oh Crap Potty Training and Oh Crap I Have a Toddler. So today I wanna to talk about reading. I'm recording this on August 28th, which means some people are back to school and some people are starting school after Labor Day. But if your child is entering kindergarten or first grade or one of these age ranges where they're gonna be learning how to read, reading becomes an obsession. And I wanna give you two things about reading. Number one is model reading. And this is funny because as busy parents, we very often don't have time to read, right? Like we're doing all the things. So who has time to sit and read? But what I learned in my own journey with my son, I homeschooled my son and my son didn't really love reading, even though I read him tons and tons of books. And we always had a rule in my house that if you want to read, it's stop, drop and read. I would do my very best to drop everything to read to him, but he still didn't love, love reading. And I realized I never modeled reading for pleasure like reading to take me out of this world to just to to just sit and relax and so I started modeling reading just like no whenever I can midday and obviously not that can't be midday every day for every parent if you work but on the weekends or even in the evening set up a time with your child where they have their books and you have your books and they don't have to sit and read if they want to play they can play but they get to see you taking a break for you and just luxuriating in a book. And it can be a cookbook, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be a parenting book. I hope for you that it's fiction, whatever kind you love and that you're having a good time with that book. But modeling that can go so long, so far. I, so long? So far. <laughs> because what ends up happening, right, is once they enter school and reading becomes a thing, a lot of times it becomes a chore for kids, which is I've gotta read this, we've gotta check off the reading list, what did we read today? And then the child can feel bogged down. Years ago, um, I was on Facebook still and I had put, you know, hey, what book made you a reader? I was just interested because for me, it was A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. And I was in fourth grade and it was my first like significant novel. And oh, I just loved the characters. I cried when it was over. I immediately started it again and I loved it. And from there on, I was an avid reader. And so, you know, a lot of people were replying and they, um, A Wrinkle in Time, these classics, you know, what the first book that made them a reader. And what was interesting is a bunch of guys uh, personally DM'd me instead of putting it on the post. And they were like, I used to love reading till we had reading lists. And then I got pissed off and I hated reading. And I thought that was so interesting. And it was almost all, all males. Huge generalization, very small study, but still I thought it was interesting. And especially since I have a boy, I was like, oh, how can I make reading seem the, the pleasure it is. And I realized at that point in time, he was still in school. And um, I just realized that I would only read at night and I was exhausted and he would be in bed and I'd read a page and fall asleep. He wasn't seeing me read for pleasure. So that is one thing. The other thing is no matter how old your child gets, read to them, continue to read to them. So once your child is reading fluently, we tend to drop the nighttime stories. Don't, read chapter books to them, read novels, read fiction, read nonfiction. Listening and comprehension are two huge skills. You can even start chapter books way before your child is ready to read chapter books themselves. These are engrossing stories, longer stories. They tell tales. They require some critical thinking. They require some leaps in thinking. So they're, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful skill to be able to listen to somebody who's reading, especially in this day and age, as we're so fast paced, we're so used to nuggets of information. We, you know, get things from YouTube videos and short clips. And so we really have to work hard to keep our children engaged and, and keep their attention and their comprehension. That's huge. And that's taking a hit. I know your kids are probably not in that age range now. It's more probably my kids age that we're really starting to see attention spans have gone down and, and kids have 
have less comprehension because they're not doing this long form listening and paying attention. So those are my two tips because I think we all get really obsessed when the kids start reading, like read, 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 read. And a lot of it's on them and it can become arduous and a chore. So let's bring back the pleasure of reading and give that to our kids by modeling it, yeah? If you like this video, please share, subscribe, feel free to comment. If you have any ideas on reading, I'd love to hear them. Okay, rock on.